Well, what is happening? Hey, what's this? I don't know, but there it goes again. It's kind of dumb. What's up, Java the Pup? That's Java the Pup. So, I got my uh, Megapi Genesis Megapi case. Everything finished. I just did a video here not too long ago on it. There it is. There's my Genesis. You can kind of see the size difference. Anyhow, I got, uh, I just kind of finished it up. I got all of the games. Sorry. Put this tripod. Let me use this thing there. I got all of the games. Um, box, the cover art, the box is um, all straightened out. So anyhow, when you load your ROMs and your box art, you need to make sure that the box art and the ROM have the exact same name in order for this operating system to, to recognize it. So anyhow, just wanted to quickly show that. I'm really liking this little OS, this, you know, this, it's kind of a, Clearly a Genesis, um, you know, uh, based look. Um, I can show you. Oh, also I picked this up. I ended up picking up the 8-Bit Doe uh, Bluetooth Sega Genesis controller. This thing's pretty cool. Um, kind of show you a couple things here on... As far as the interface goes, you can favorite stuff by pushing up on the D-pad. You can kind of see up there. Um, you can play, or you could load a... Uh, let's see if I have a load in here. Whoop, that was a play. Well, I'll show you how to use your shortcut on here. So I have... Th this is set up. I think it's default, so I push the select here. So I can push the select and that C button and that brings me back out to the operating system. I also realized on accident there's other shortcuts I was unfamiliar with but if I hold down the select and then push up or down that will actually change the, well it's when you're in a game, it'll actually um, adjust your volume up and down. So, but yeah. So you can see, you can favorite a game. If I wanted to favorite it, I would just push C. And then you can go right to all of your favorites. Or just browse your whole catalog. There's your settings. We'll hurry and go into here. Got your general settings for your language. You can make some adjustments here. A couple different things you can do. Here you could um, change the input mapping of your controller or connect another gamepad. You can delete our games. If we go into here, it's kind of cool because you could, you know, just select a bunch of games and then just delete them all at once instead of one at a time. And you can do a backup. I haven't done the backup yet. Messed around with that. You could resize your box art, open up RetroArch, Arch, Arc, whatever. Um, and then what's cool about it, obviously, is you can do with this, with this case... Um, you know, like I mentioned, you can do a clean shutdown instead of just having to unplug it, you know, or shut it off. So that's pretty cool. And then it'll just shut down the operating system properly. So, um, but yeah, it's really nice. <clears throat> and I'm kind of happy with this little unit. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. I think a RetroPie in that case is really a pretty good, it's a really cool case. I like it. I'm excited for the new uh, Genesis Mini Classic that they caught coming out. What, when is it? September or October or something? I pre-ordered it. So I'm excited to see it. So 
Um, anyhow, hope you like that. I'm going to possibly pick up one of these. You can get a uh, one that uses a USB adapter and a, uh, you know, a dongle and that's like not Bluetooth. It's wireless so that I can go ahead and um, use it for my uh, Genesis, my old school Genesis. So I want to give that a go. I also want to pick up one for the Super Nintendo there and and even that um, NES. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments, you know how to do that. And thanks for uh, watching. Smell y'all later. Say goodbye, Java the Hup. Java the Pup. <laughs> I like that name, Java the Pup. All right. See ya.